Good afternoon, everyone. And welcome to our ceremonial groundbreaking here at historic Crocker Field. My name is Todd Robbins, Director of Athletics. Great to have all of you join us today for an event that is most definitely decades in the making. And as you can see, is well on its way to success. There have been so many of you that have dedicated your time and efforts to this project and to get us to this point today. Crocker Field itself has stood for over 100 years and much of that time spent as the premier athletic facility in the state. With this investment of public and private funds, Crocker Field will once again be that state of the art with the latest turf, track, and lighting for the betterment of our student athletes and a gathering place for our community. Albert Crocker said it best himself upon gifting this miraculous facility to the boys and girls of Fitchburg schools. He said, quote, the welfare and education of the children of Fitchburg is the foundation of the city's prosperity. Never will that be more obvious than when we gather together to rededicate this facility at the completion of this project and embrace that charge once more. In 1917, Superintendent of Schools James Chalmers wrote in the red and gray that year, quote, I love to think of the coming of athletic events of Crocker Field as truly Olympic games in purpose and in spirit, developing in our youth such virtues of body and of mind as shall create a future citizenship capable of marvelous leadership. In that event, our magnanimous patron and benefactor, Mr. Albert Crocker, shall have the supreme satisfaction of elevating and ennobling his native city and producing intangible and indefinable results upon human character. Think of the intangible results that will be the byproduct of the project that has begun behind us. The byproduct that will be for our student athletes and our city of Fitchburg. We are all so fortunate to be here today and I thank each and every one of you for your part in it. We've got a great list of speakers lined up today. Uh, welcome to the podium our next speaker, the president of the Crockerfield Restoration Committee, Mr. Rick Kazanjian. Well, I don't pretend to be a great speaker, but I will refer to my notes and pretty much read it. Um, but thank you, Todd, for that uh, lovely introduction. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this momentous occasion as we celebrate the groundbreaking of this project that has been in the works for the last 20 plus years. It's a day that we on the Crockerfield Restoration Committee were beginning to think we would never see. Over the last 20 plus years, the CFRC has made great strides in doing the things we could afford to do thanks to public donations, CDB grants, CDBG grants with matching FPS funds, and our own fundraising efforts such as this beautiful memorial walkway here at the Circle Street Gate. While all of these things have, <clears throat> we have done have helped us improve Crockett Field, this capital project has always been at the top of the wish list of things we wanted to get done, and here we are today. We are here today thanks to the efforts of so many people, and I want to recognize some of you that are here today along with some that are not. I want to recognize and thank two individuals that work side by side with us on the CFRC to make this all possible, Jeff Bennett and Alan Crocker. <laughs> Jeff and Alan led the charge working with the Kraft family and the NFL for the first major donation from the NFL Foundation of $250,000 and spent countless hours meeting with former Mayor Dean Natale and other potential donors. Jeff and his wife Tracy and Alan and his extended family then made major personal financial commitments to add to the pot. These donations led to other major commitments from Jeff Crowley and his family at Wachusett Mountain and Polar Beverages, Representative Mike Kushmerick and the Mass State Legislature represented here by Rebecca Hess, Lemonster Credit Union represented here by Kelly Rooney, and Fidelity Bank, represented here by Derek Bean and Tauma Rastad and many others as well. Former Mayor Steve DiNatale provided the biggest boost to the project 
by committing $2 million in ARPA funds to seal the deal and put us over the top. In addition, Fitchburg Public Schools under former Superintendent Bob Jokula, current Superintendent John Thompson, and Assistant Superintendent of Finance and Operations Jeremy Roach retained and covered the cost of Gale Associates and Project Manager Kathy Herval to help prepare the project bid specs to get us where we are today. Our thanks are also extended to Quirk Corporation for making the successful bid to win the project and for getting things started right on time. Lastly, I would be remiss if I did not also thank my committee of CFRC members, especially Tom Lamy, the CFRC treasurer, for all of his hard work in keeping the rest of us informed and on track to get us where we are today. Thank you, Tom. I said I would be brief, so that's kind of it for me. But uh, I would uh, also like to thank uh, current Mayor Sam Squaria for her continued support uh, of this project and all things Crockett Field and Fitchburg High School. And I now welcome Mayor Squaria to the podium. All right. Good afternoon, our Crocker Field friends and supporters. It is with great appreciation that I join you to celebrate today's groundbreaking and continued restoration of historic Crocker Field, now in its 106th year of operation, being originally dedicated June 21st, 1918. On that date, the Sentinel wrote, the presentation of this gift by Alva Crocker is a gift which means so much for the welfare of Fitchburg. The authorities to whom the charge has been committed merely hold Crocker Field in trust for the young people of the public schools. And it continues, all will be well with Fitchburg in the future if the same spirit of service to the common good which entered into the gift of Crocker Field becomes the breath of life into the community. This is the spirit which is embodied in the physical properties of Crocker Field, combining the ideal with the real, and both alike clothed in beauty. Today, we honor that spirit of service and commitment over a century ago to the common good as we build this new chapter for Crocker Field. This historic site has been a cornerstone of our community a place where generations of Fitchburg students and residents have come together to celebrate, compete, and create lasting memories. And as we break ground today, we are not just renovating a field. We are renewing our commitment to the values that Alva Crocker envisioned over a century ago. This historic community landmark will be renovated to the modern needs of our students today, benefiting everyone in the community and all our school students whose sports teams and events will be able to fully utilize our beautiful renovated facility, increasing access and equity. As we celebrate our renovation today, we continue to live up to the vision of Alva Crocker. The renovations we undertake now will ensure that Crocker Field continues to serve as a hub of community pride and educational and athletic excellence well into the future. And as an ode to the words of 1918, we will strive to embody the spirit of service to the common good, ensuring that all will be well with Fitchburg in the future. Thank you. We celebrate this historic moment with the enthusiasm and the unity that define the spirit of Fitchburg. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Now our superintendent of Fitchburg Public Schools, Mr. John Thompson. Good afternoon, everyone. I will be brief. Thank you all for attending today's Crocker Field groundbreaking. Our deepest gratitude goes to everyone who has played an integral role in the Crocker Field restoration project. 
Your unwavering support, dedication, and generosity has brought us to our vision of enhancing equity and access to Crocker Field for all students of the Fitchburg Public Schools, our city youth sports leagues, and the entire community. What truly sets this project apart is its profound impact on the lives of our students, families, and neighbors. The revitalization of Crocker Field is not merely about upgrading facilities. It is about creating opportunities, fostering inclusivity, and nurturing a sense of belonging for all who call Fitchburg home. On behalf of the Fitchburg Public Schools and the entire community, I extend my deepest appreciation to, this, to each and every one of you. Thank you. Before our next speaker comes to the podium, I want to recognize some of my other great partners in athletics. Uh, starting first uh, with uh, Mr. Jeremy Roach, our Assistant Superintendent for Finance and Operations. Thank you, sir, for your support of the project and everything you're doing. My other partner in athletics, our principal, Dr. John Braga of Fitchburg High School. And our project manager from Gale Associates, Kathy Herval. Modest, our modest project manager who doesn't want any attention whatsoever, which I just got that look of death. <laughs> a great many years have seen investments, both tangible and intangible, toward getting us to this point. And as we've said, so many people have dedicated themselves to this cause. But the investment from the city of Fitchburg was absolutely vital to getting us to the finish line today. Speaking to the realization of that dream, former state representative and mayor of the city of Fitchburg, a former mayor of the city of Fitchburg, excuse me, Mr. Stephen DiNatale. Thanks, folks. Um, let me just say this, that, that I want to thank the, certainly the federal government for doing something right this time with ARPA funding. And uh, it, this wouldn't have happened without that uh, infusion of capital to make this happen. And uh, as Rick mentioned, so many people to thank. Tom Lamey he always comes to mind first and foremost. He needs another round of applause, please. Jeff Bennett and Alan Crocker. Al Thank you, by the way. Nice shirt. But again, thanks all for coming out today. And this will truly, this is a work in progress, by the way. This is not over yet. So if there's anyone, uh, bankers that might be here, any cash infusion in the future would be greatly appreciated. So thank you all. Thanks for coming today. And ladies and gentlemen, we've now reached that time we have waited for, for some, for many decades, and that is the opportunity to dig in. Uh, so Mr. Kazanjian, uh, Her Honor the Mayor Squalia, uh, Mr. Thompson, Mr. DiNatale, and myself will grab the shovels and take the first shot at it. Our round two crew, Mr. Crowley, Ms. Rooney, Mr. Bennett, uh, Ms. Hess, and Mr. Crocker. All right, one, two, three. Cool. Right. Thank you. And our group three, Mr. Roach, Ms. Herval, Dr. Braga, Mr. Bean, and Ms. Rostad. Nice. Members of the Crockerfield Restoration Committee, we wouldn't be here without you. Step right up. One, two, three. And one last group, our group of coaches who are here today from Fitchburg High School Athletics, past, present, and future, Mr. Woods. Uh, step right up. We welcome all of you for your opportunity as well. One, two, three. We thank each and every one of you for being here today for this gr groundbreaking here at Crocker Field. And we invite you to join us in September or October 
for the rededication of Crocker Field when this facility reaches its completion. Thank you all so very much.